Otto stops and sort of looks around himself, and he is clearly lost. There is nobody around him, and the sirens are loud in the hallway, and he starts to panic. Otto Heaton was 19 years old when he married Cecilia. The two of them had actually been really good childhood friends, but they ended up being separated in their early teens when Otto's family moved. His father was a high-ranking military officer, and moving was something that Otto had just become accustomed to from a very early age. Once Otto had turned 18, though, he moved back to where he originally grew up, and it wasn't long before Otto and Cecilia began talking again. The two of them would get married a little over a year later, and despite not having a lot of money, the two of them were relatively happy and spent every moment they could together, and within a year, Cecilia would give birth to their only son, Julius. Now, before Julius was born, Cecilia was a little nervous about how Otto would be as a father because generally he was kind of this quiet and shy person, but those nerves quickly went out the window after Julius was born. Otto sort of turned into this all-around family man, and any extra time that he had during the day, he ended up spending with Julius, and they would always be playing and laughing together. Shortly after Julius's first birthday, Otto ended up losing his job, which put a lot of tension between him and Cecilia. They didn't have much money saved up as it was, and were basically living paycheck to paycheck. Otto desperately tried to find work for the next month, but he just didn't have any luck. Out of ideas, Otto ends up going to his father, who's the high-ranking military officer, and... <laughs> the day went, and sometimes Otto would even talk to Julius on the phone and tell him some sort of interesting stories. So even though these calls became pretty routine, it was something that both Cecilia and Otto looked forward to. It was the only time that they were together. They were together. They were together. So on day 9, the night before Otto was
about two hours before mealtime and about three hours before his call with Cecilia. Otto usually spent his time just kind of relaxing, laying in bed, since most of his day was spent on his feet and moving around, he really enjoyed the time that he had to just relax. He would look at a picture that he kept on his desk of Julius and Cecilia, and thoughts ran through his mind of being genuinely excited to get to see them tomorrow when he would be going home. So Otto, while laying in bed, looked at the picture of his family, and eventually he dozes off to sleep. 30 minutes later, Otto's eyes shoot open as he sits up in his bed, puts on his boots, and is standing in the middle of his room. Over the intercom in the military base was yelling, Hostiles in Sector 41. Now, Otto had only been here a little over a week, and he wasn't sure if this was some sort of drill or if someone was really invading their base. He did go to training for situations like this on the first day that he arrived, and in the event of some sort of invasion, he did have a designated meeting spot with his squadron in Sector 52. Otto's body is physically shaking at this point, but he closes his eyes and tries to remember the protocol and the area where he was supposed to go, opens the door to the hallway and he looks out and nobody is there. Otto had actually slept through this warning over the intercom for a couple minutes before it woke him up. And if he had woken up right away, he would have seen other people moving through these hallways that he could just follow and know exactly where to go. But because he ended up sleeping through it, there's now nobody in the hallway and he has to kind of just remember where he's supposed to be going. He's pretty confident, but he's not 100% certain where he's supposed to go, but he figures at this point it's better to just start moving, and odds are he's going to run into somebody along the way anyway. A few minutes later, Otto stops and sort of looks around himself, and he is clearly lost. There is nobody around him, and the sirens are loud in the hallway, and he starts to panic. It should be noted that this isn't just some normal military the section that he's located in is underground. There's entrances sort of on the sides, but for the most part, the only way in is from the top. So this isn't just like a straightforward go down these hallways, take this turn. This place is sort of like an ant nest. There's different corridors branching in different directions. There's areas that move upward and downward in these shafts. And he has lost his sense of direction completely. Even though he isn't really a fighter, he knows that his team still needs him. So he just keeps going down these hallways, looking for anything that will lead him in the right direction. And eventually, Otto gets to a spot that has a sign pointing to the right that says Docking Bay. The Docking Bay happened to be the location where Otto spent most of his time working, so he knew exactly where that was. He could get to the Docking Bay. He might be able to just wait there for the over, or there might be a whole other squadron there that he could join up with and help them out in case they Otto starts running down this hallway, and he gets to the door at the end, which sort of leads into a bigger room, and that's a hallway that leads to the docking bay. And when he opens the door, he sees on the far side of the room a silhouette of a man and a woman embracing. Otto is completely frozen as the two shadowy figures turn and look straight at him. Despite being pretty scared at this point, Otto stays pretty composed, reaches over to his wrist, and pushes a button to signal a code black within the building. Once Otto does this, he sees one of the shadowy figures take off down the hallway, which is the exact direction that he needs to be going to get to the docking bay. He sort of directs his gaze towards this person for a moment as they're walking down the hallway, and then turns back and the other person is still there. Person starts moving towards Otto, and Otto sees that he's reaching for his hip and pulling something out of his waistband. So Otto sort of assumes at this point that the things are the hospital's back reaching for the So as this figure is coming towards him, Otto holds out his hand, braces him with his other hand, and flips a switch on his glove, which emits this sort of false beam and natural person in front of him. Strong enough to at least not them to lose the grip on the weapon that we walked across. These were part of the augments that I thought it was not part of this Augments could be some sort of high-tech gear that's built into your actual body armor, so they can kind of some more stuff, or it could be a situation where they actually implant something into your brain that is automatically to be in certain situations or to get you to
wasn't long before his vision started blurry and between each hit, he looked up at his attacker and made eye contact. And that moment, it was so hard. Early the next morning, Cecilia would wake up to that knock on the door, thinking that it was autumn. So she leaped out of bed, she ran to the door, but it wasn't. At the door was a general from the military base, who told her that in an instant, hostile breaking into the base, during that incident, Otto had lost his life. Cecilia is in shock. She can't really comprehend what is being told to her. She thought today was the day she was going to see Otto, to see the love of her life again. But the general would go on to tell her that it was because of him spotting the hostiles and engaging them. That ended up saving the base, that they were able to apprehend the hostiles before they left the building, and Otto was essentially saved countless lives of other people that day. The general told Cecilia that Otto was going to be as a hero. Since this incident in the base of the memorial has been put up there, he was going to remember Otto and that day. But as of now, there's no information on the identity of the hostiles that has been released to the Thank <laughs> you.